Today's video, I want to show you how to get that Instagram hairstylist slay, how you can get those salon results, make your wig look realistic at home, especially with times being so hard to even get into your stylist because everybody has to take appointments. You can only have a certain amount of people, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to achieve this at home. If you would like to see that, let's jump right in. into anything let's talk about this wig this wig is an HD wig a lot of hairstylists work with HD frontals HD wigs HD lace give you that more blendable lace it melts better also the knots on your wig need to be very tiny because even if you have the perfect lace if your knots are huge you're gonna see knots and we already don't want to see the grids you don't like to hit that sunlight and just look like a screen door on your head if you have really good quality lace you will not see that at all you won't need the fake scalp you won't need the bandage you won't need any of that then i would recommend thinning out your hairline a little bit i have a tweezing tutorial that way all this area can lay nice and flat now this wig did not come in this texture it is a wavy texture i will insert a clip of how it looked this wig is actually a month old in the videos it's going to be a reinstall basically so the lace and everything is already cut everything that i use will be linked below so if you can't find them in the store you don't want to go in the store you don't have to so for today's application I wanted to try out the Gorilla Snot Gel. Now, if you've been following my videos over the past week, you know I've been using this um, just for the baby hairs because it lays the baby hair so well. Today's video, I am testing this out for a wig application. I'm just not saying that it's going to work like I want it to, but I wanted to see. Later on in today's video, I will talk to you guys about the quality of this hair. There are some things I want to talk about, so I'll give my review later on in today's video. I'm going to be using hairspray. This is the Bedhead TIGI Full of It Volume spray i know you guys have seen me use the world you okay yeah want to wear a wig cap this one is a brown one if you are my complexion definitely do not do this for your scalp complexion they do come in a lighter color now that you know all of that let's jump right on into the video and i'm going to give you all the tips on how to make your hair look very realistic when wearing a wig there is no extra lace on this wig because this is a reinstall so as you can see the lace has already been cut so this is actually perfect if you want to know how to reinstall your wig and still get that natural look now the key to using a cordless hot comb i found this out the hard way is to let the base or the oven heat up before you actually put the comb in there to heat up that way when you take the comb out it'll be smoking hot let it cool for a minute blow it and then start to straighten the hair so what i'm doing right now is i'm pre-styling this wig because i feel like if your wig looks natural when it's sitting on the canvas head it is going to look realistic when you apply it so i'm just pressing out the roots so that the wig can lay flat you guys know i've been using this curler for a little while now and did you know that it actually can straighten the hair also so it works like a flat iron but it definitely is a curling iron but as you can see it straightens the hair flawlessly having the right curling irons are going to give you those salon results right at home if i'm investing money into my hair i'm definitely investing money into my tools that i'm using on the hair and my products so yeah i'm just going to add some curls around this wig now looking at this wig you can see in the parting that the knots after being bleached are very orangey um, this may not be a problem for darker skin, but it can look very brown on my skin complexion. So in a second, I'm going to show you how I correct that. But I'm laying the hair as flat as possible. A great tip about the hot combs, the cordless ones I find are much better at straightening the hair than the electric ones. And also you want to make sure the teeth in the comb are smaller. It's going to lay the hair. However, if you're a beginner, be cautious when heating these combs in the oven because they can burn the hair straight out the head if it's too hot. Okay, I've had that happen. <laughs> All right, so now the next step I'm going to do is create some edges. Now, this is what I did not do the first time I wore this wig. So I'm just adding some baby hairs and I separated the baby hairs from the hairline so that when I go to lay the lace down, it will actually assist in laying the hairline down. You'll see that in a second. 
so i'm going in with that root touch up again i talked about this i did a full video on this and why i like to use it so this is a lighter color and it's going to take those orangey brownish knots and just make them better okay this is going to correct the knots now i do have on the ball cap method um, I'm going to use the gorilla snot that we talked about at the beginning and as you can see that is a little bit yellowish there so I'm not sure how this is going to work out on everybody um, but I just wanted to test it out and see what kind of hold I would get I also want to see how it would show through so this is like a test for me <laughs> Over top of that, I'm going to apply the hard hold spray and I'm gonna give you a fun fact. Anytime I use that spray, I wanna call it the bold hold spray. Why? Why do I wanna say that? I do this every time. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and lay the lace down onto that. It is very sticky or tacky. It's very tacky, okay? And as you can see, I'm using those baby hairs to hold the lace in place without putting my fingers on the actual lace. I have my dryer setting on hot. You can use warm, but I'm just trying to make it stick as fast as possible. So I'm using a hot setting. Don't burn yourself, okay? Lightly take the lace and press it with your fingers. Try to stay off of the actual um, gel and hairspray because you don't want to lift your finger up and get white spots because that can't happen. So only touch that area when it's dry. Don't touch it when it's tacky. Judging by what you are looking at right now and what you've seen at the beginning, drop me a comment and tell me what do you think of the Gorilla Snot Gel? Do you feel like it's too yellow? Do you feel like it looks good? Do you feel like on every skin tone it could work? Drop me a comment. I want to know what your thoughts is on this. All right, so I'm going to use that Gorilla Snot also to lay down the baby hairs. And I love it for baby hairs because it dries fast and it's not too wet. Because of the way this cap construction is made, you only get that deep parting in the center. Like if you was to do a center parting, you would get that six inch parting, but on the sides, like where my part is, that's as far as it go back, okay? But it's not a problem for me, just because I just thought it turned out well. If I had any issues with parting, I definitely would say something, but I'm just swooping the hair. I kind of want to go back into this 90s swoop trend that we got going on just because I just feel like it will make the wig look more realistic like when you do these styles that people actually wear people are not going to sit here and think this is it's a wig especially if you have an HD wig like this all right thirsty drinking some water yeah let's just be rude okay <laughs> it's over I'm going to go ahead and recurl this hair again and you guys drop me a comment and let me know what you think and stay tuned if you want to hear my final thoughts on what I think about this wig. It's coming up. Overall, the appearance of the wig, the lace quality is on point like it is so on point the knots on this wig is beautiful this wig is a wavy texture and i think because of that it does not hold a curl girl i put so many curls in this hair and this is how it looks after yeah this is how it looks so i did hairspray and everything so you're not going to get this to hold a really tight curl the hair quality to me is decent it's not like a really heavy texture it's very lightweight it's very breathable this is one of those wigs you can definitely sleep in if you need it to um and people always say well you sleep in your wigs i mean why not when you go get your hair braided with weave or if you go sew in install you sleep in that right these are very breathable wigs that you can wear for longer periods of time Today is the next day and yesterday I did my application with the Gorilla Snot and the Hard Hold Spray. 
Um, let me just say, I woke up. Well, actually, after I filmed that video, after I filmed yesterday's video, I had absolutely no lifting. Okay, no lifting at all. Um, and then I went to bed. So I was like, okay, by bedtime, my wig was still laid. So I was like, I'm not gonna take this wig off tonight. I'm gonna see how it do overnight. Cause normally when I sleep, I sweat a little bit and my wig is on the side of me when I wake up. <laughs> um, so when I went to bed, I woke up this morning and it's still very early. And look, like we're still looking good. Okay, so I did tie my hairline down before I went to bed. I, that's something I always do. But even when tying my hair down after using the hard hose spray or any gels by itself, I still get lifting, okay? I still will lift um, if I sweat. But last night, I'm pretty sure I sweat a little bit. Yeah, the only thing I've noticed that I can see is my wig cap showing through a little bit. But I just wanted to drop in and show you guys that this Gorilla Snap may be the real deal. I don't know who's using it. I don't know if anybody has introduced this to you guys for a wig application. I have no idea. Um, but I tried this out. I think it gives a really good hold. The only thing I wish is that it, it was not yellow, yellowish in color. Then I feel like, you know. But I really don't notice any of the color from the gel or the tannish that you are seeing is coming more from the makeup that I put in my wig rather than this itself. So this is what I want you guys to do. I want you to try this out, okay? I will link it below in the description box and then I want you to come back to the video and let me know if it holds for you. Especially if you are a person that sweat. Now don't go crazy and go to the gym and work out. I don't think it's gonna hold. Matter of fact, I'm about to go to the gym and work out. <laughs> and if, I, if it holds, I'm gonna come back and tell you guys and let you know in my next video. I don't know. But drop me a comment. Let me know if it worked out for you guys. I would love to hear your results. And I will see you back in my next video.